Hey, Internet! Uh, I'm Gross. I just got back from a morning run. Uh, and I'm not making this up. My mom called and she wants a bot. So she's a yoga instructor and a painter. And she's at this painting retreat in North Carolina. It's like a week long. And she and her painter friends want to be able to chat with the bot that will give them painting exercises. So like, I want you to paint a happy painting at the beach. Um, that is an oil or pastel or, or something like this. So I told her, of course, um, here's what we're going to do. Uh, is try to live code it. This is actually 40 minutes into the live coding. I learned something about Descript. I love you guys, but your app deletes everything and crashes if your AirPods run out of batteries while you're filming. So I'm like 30 minutes into the video. Rather than do it again, I've got now an, a microphone that won't run out of batteries, and I'm just going to take you through what I've already done because uh, I think that's more time efficient. Luckily, it's pretty easy. So yesterday at Steamship, we released this uh, experiment for one-click Telegram buddies. Telegram's a chat app. Uh, these buddies are Python classes that you can publish to Steamship's cloud, and you can use you know LLMs, you can use chains, you can use AGI agents, you can use Dolly, all sorts of stuff we've got planned. Yesterday, we released our first uh, it's basically a character where you can launch it on Telegram and it gives you like a personality that you can add. We're just going to bolt on this painting challenge bot on top of that. Um, and the way that I had gotten started was to go to Steamship Packages slash Telegram Buddy. And uh, it's all open source. It's super simple. Just go to this API class and there's this method here, prepare response, where all the action happens. We're right here keeping a persistent uh, chat history and running it through chat GPT or GPT-4, your choice. Um, what I did over here was I had cloned the package, cloned that GitHub repository, created a branch. I went to Steamship JSON, that's kind of like our package JSON file, and I set my own handle uh, to random challenge buddy. And let me take you through what I've been doing. So. Uh, the whole idea of this bot was that we're going to have these commands on top of the chat GPT personality that you give it. So if you say, challenge me, we want it to say, I want you to paint X, Y, Z. If you say, add, uh, add to list, um, a list of things, you're going to basically add items to a list like mood, setting, character, medium, things like this. Uh, and if you say clear list, we're going to reset the list. And so the hope is that from Telegram, you'll be able to just say, like, hi, how are you? And it'll interact with you like a chat GPT bot of whatever personality you want. But then it also knows some of these commands. So it's kind of funny that we're using regex on top of GPT, but, you know, the world is, the world's a crazy place. The way that we are approaching this is to experiment with kind of a tool interface, but not in the same way that some of these AI agents use. Um, the tools that are used by sort of AutoGPT and all of these agents, uh, the LLM is deciding which tool to use. In this particular case, we're using good old regular expressions. And so what we've done here is we've ha we have these regexes with capture groups that correspond to commands and their arguments. Think like old school style. We're going... We're going very quick and, and dirty for this. And then uh, we have this git command for method and all it's doing is it's looping over those commands. It's trying to pull out the capture groups and it'll either return none or hey, here's the command in my argument list. Uh, matches is just like yes, no, did you match? And then run is, think of this as like the run method of the tool, uh, will either return none if it didn't match. And uh, if it did match, it'll kind of punt that down to this dispatch. Uh, list of like, here's the different things. So at the moment when Descript crashed, we were just at the part where we hooked up the tool. So I had gone to Botfather on Telegram. I had made the mom bot. Uh, Botfather is like the account where you can create a new bot. I had hooked it up to this kind of development harness server right here. Let me stop it so you can see it run fresh. I had hooked it up to this development harness server. Internet, don't steal my API key. Um, I'll roll it afterwards, but uh, be good. And um, I ran this, so let's run it fresh. And now in Botfather, I'm going to say, hi there, how are you? 
Okay, so we're connected to our Steamship package on localhost. We haven't deployed this to the cloud yet. Uh, we're getting back a response. Um, and the thing that I had just been testing was whether or not this matching for the commands worked. And it looked like it did. I'll just rerun it here. So if I say um, add to list setting uh, outdoors beach mountains, then it's going to say add. If I say clear list setting, it's going to say clear because that's all we asked it to do. Let's go back to API. We're just responding challenge clear add. Uh, and the way that I had wired that up was in this open source Telegram buddy template, there's this method prepare response. And this method right here is maintaining a history of your chat with the agent and generating a new response with uh, GPT-4 or chat GPT, whatever you pick in the settings and returning it. And we're just preempting that. We're just saying, you know, here's the start of the mom bot. Uh, if this choice tool matches the incoming text, don't give it to GPT. We're going to preempt GPT. And instead we're going to do whatever we want. So at this point, in a way, it's like convenient to jump into the video and, and reshoot here. Because uh, this is where sort of the interesting action happens that's not just watching me mumble to myself as I write regex. Uh, so this is where we're going to add uh, state. Um, by the way, I should re-say, since I haven't said in this video, I'm YOLOing this. It hasn't been prepped, and so I'll, I'll be figuring this out as I go. Um, it's 1026. We've got our morning meeting at 11. So let's see if I can get this done in like 20 minutes. I kind of think I can, but we'll have to see. So there's a key value store in uh, Steamship that you can use. Um, I embarrassingly forget what it's called. Let me see if uh, I'm going to pull down the Steamship Python client repository. Oh, KV store right here. So uh, up in this uh, choice tool, uh, thing. I'm going to add this KV store, uh, KVs. And how do you instantiate this? So you give it a client and you give it a store identifier. Okay. Client. And that, that defaults to key value store. I'm going to call this, um, choices. So, uh, I should say a few things about what it is we're doing here. So Steamship is Steamship is a, a host for AI apps. So all of the like you know whether it's Langchains or Llama Index apps or um, Baby AGI, uh, if you wrap it up into this class, we call it a package. It kind of looks like a Flask app. We pass you this client object uh, right here that gives you uh, vector storage, vector search, key value storage, blob storage, all the models that matter, chaining, async tasks. It's really awesome. And so you get to develop as if you're kind of just building a Python class. When you deploy it to Steamship's cloud, it becomes a multi-tenant, multi-user app. So that that's pretty neat. And we'll, I'll show you that later. But that's what this client thing is that we're going to be using here. Um, all right. So this key value store... Uh, the key we're going to have be the list name because it seems like that is the that's that really is the only way to do it I think. Um so let's just try so self.kvs.delete. Yeah, okay, delete name. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do name.strip. Hold on. That's not I'm a terrible programmer folks. def clean name self name string returns a string return name dot strip dot lowercase that's fine all right uh so kvs dot delete clean name name okay i've cleared the list um name name for you gosh I mean I think that's it all right and then for add we're gonna say self or uh, existing list equals self.kvs.add. dot 
get if not if not existing list okay and then um, I guess items we're gonna say items dot split item dot lower dot strip dot lower for item in new items and then we're gonna say existing list dot extend new items and then we're gonna say self dot kvs dot set I yeah I think that works okay so okay I've added Um, new items. Oh, it's because it's not smart about quotes, is it? Must. All right. Um, and why is that? Why is it upset about that? Oh, because we want the self.clean name name okay so let's stop our server it really couldn't be that easy let let's uh there's no way it's going to be this easy well there's got we're going to find something that we have to do but um so okay uh add to list setting Outdoors, beach, mountains. <laughs> hmm. So you know what I think happened is an exception was thrown. Because it, it looks like I typed that in the same way that it was working before. But it's not giving us back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's return the exception text. Return. <laughs> uh oh. I got an error. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Run server. Uh oh, I got an error. Validation error for tag value. Value is not a valid dict. Oh, our key value store requires you to give it a dict. That's like a funny quirk that I know is a little odd. Um, all right, so what does that mean? For add here, what that means is we need to... have the existing list be a dict. And then we're going to say existing list dot items dot extend and you know I don't know if extend is a is a method on arrays in Python so we're gonna say for item in new items append item what's the deal oh we're in this isn't JavaScript this is Python Okay, I don't know. Let's see if that works. Add to list setting beach outdoors. Uh oh, I got an error items. Okay, that's fine. What's the problem now? Existing list items. If not, if not get existing list dot get items oh gosh I can never remember what language I'm in y'all existing list items equals 
if not existing list, initialize it. If for whatever reason, which should never happen, we don't have the items thing, add the items thing. Okay. Server. Add to list setting beach. Okay, I've added beach outdoors to list setting. Cool, clear list setting. Okay, I've cleared the list setting. How are you today? Hello? Is it throwing an error? Okay, we'll deal with that later. Um, Cause it still should be defaulting to the GPT response. Um, I'm not sure what we would have changed to have stopped that, but I'll I'll leave it alone for now. Um, next, we're gonna do the surprise me, uh, the the generate me a challenge command. So uh, right here, I think there's like a list method. Is there a list method? Yeah, here we go. Items, okay. If filter keys is provided, only return keys within that list. And items is gonna return a tuple, a list of tuple with string to dict. Okay, that's cool. So what we're gonna do here is um, all, what do we call this? Facets equals self.kvs.items. And this kv store is just gonna store these, so that's okay. Um, Four, and then we're gonna, uh, what we wanna do is we wanna pick, so this is a challenge app. So for each facet, we've got a list now of the things that we may pick among, and we wanna randomly select one of them from that list. And I don't know how to, uh, um, Python, random pick from list randomly. How to randomly pick something from a list. Random.choice list, that's easy. All right. So for, for facet in self.items for uh, key value, um, if value, if value dot items equals value dot get items, if items random dot choice items choice selected equals dot append key choice. selections let's just see if that works and then we'll make it more fun if that works so I'm going to restart the server huh maybe open I just had a hiccup or something um so we should, this is stateful. So it should have remembered our prior, oh, I cleared it. Um, so add to list setting um, beach, uh, mountains, add to list mood, happy, sad, add to list time duration, uh, 10, 60, 90. Okay, and then um, challenge me. 
your selections, mood, happy, setting mountains. This is so cool. Okay, challenge me. Your selections, mood, sad, setting beach, time duration, 90. Okay. I mean, that's kind of it. Uh, so how do we polish this off? Because I want to, I want an excuse to put this on the site. So it has to be like minimally not this duct tape together. Um, all right, let's do two things. We're going to, uh, we're going to have a, we're going to do a prompt based one and we're going to do like, just like a, a structured kind of text based one. Okay. So the prompt, the structured text based one is basically just going to be this. Um, this is so cool. I feel like you could use this for more than painting too. I think you could like, you know, this could be like a dinner menu generator. This could be a workout generator. Uh, Enius, if you end up watching this, your, your fitness buddy thing that you're doing, I feel like it could use this for like a, like a hit workout or something. Uh, challenge. Okay. So what do we want here? Um, challenge or features equal F string dash, um, key value for and select, I don't really know Python very well, y'all. Uh, and then Turn. Sorry, I'm, I'm whispering to myself because I'm already trying to plan out the prompt that we're going to use for the next one. I should remember that I, this is my first time ever trying to live stream something, so I, I'm not in practice of, of this kind of stuff. Uh, here is your challenge. All right, let's make sure that works. And then I, and the prompt thing I think is going to be pretty neat. So run the server again, challenge me and it's stateful. So yeah, there we go. All right, here's your challenge. So that didn't work. What did I do wrong? Oh, Perfect. Okay. So here's going to be the, um, the prompt based one. I want to use GPT. This is really just an excuse to use GPT. I want to use GPT to generate kind of like a text description that just expresses the same thing in a, uh, paragraph form. Number one, number two, the, one of the challenges is that even though I'm making this for my mom and her painter friends, it's not clear that this is painting specific, I think. I think the better version of this is if you tell it what the category is. Uh, so we we want some command where you describe what the category is to shove into the prompt, I think. That way it's more more extensible at the cost of maybe being more confusing to use. We'll see it. Uh, you know, this is just for fun. We'll, uh, so we're going to add one that's called magic challenge. Uh, and it will it. 
It'll take a verb. That's that's what we'll do. That's that seems pretty simple. Uh, you'll say magic challenge paint, magic challenge eat, magic challenge workout, cook, something like that. And then if you do that, we'll incorporate that into the prompt. I that's probably close enough to to actually work. Okay, so magic challenge. So we're gonna have to go down here. That seems like it should be fine. Um, we're gonna have to add that here. And then, uh, oh no, it's just one argument, isn't it? Okay, so challenge, magic challenge is just gonna be challenge. Except it takes an argument here, which is the verb. And we're going to make a prompt. So the prompt is, I please formulate, or uh, please write a, an encouraging challenge to me with a call to action to verb. Um, when I, I verb, I want it to have the following, involve the following things. The call to action should be short, motivational, and um, specific to the list of attributes above. Okay, so that's gonna be the prompt. And then we're gonna pass that to the LLM generate, and then we're gonna return the result. Um, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to steal some code. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the LLM in my init method right here. Hey, I'm shooting a video. That's why I'm over here talking to myself. LLM. Uh, this is a plugin instance. Import self.llm equals LLM. And then we're going to give it the LLM that we created down here, GPT-4. And I'm gonna steal the code for this, and then I'm gonna put it up here. Generate task equals GPT-4.generate, text equals prompt. I think that's actually all I have to do. Generate test.wait return like there's no way it's going to work on the first try but who knows all right so if i say what was the command i don't even remember it was like magic or something magic challenge all right so if it works it's going to be preparing that prompt sending it to open ai and then returning us sure what kind of magic challenge are you interested in okay that seems like Oh, because we have to say paint, magic, challenge, paint. What? That makes no sense. That has to be a copy paste error. Yeah. Magic challenge, devastation. Okay, <laughs> let me re <laughs> let me rerun the server. Um, <clears throat> paint. Oh, address already in use. Uh oh, I got an error. Choice tool has no attribute. GPT four. 
And that is because I called it LLM. A challenge to you, my friend. Let the emotions flow and the <laughs> this is amazing. And the brushstrokes dance across the canvas. In just 60 minutes, transport yourself to the serene and majestic mountains. Oh my God, this is so amazing. And let the sadness inspire your creativity. Huh. Paint your heart out. And you might just surprise your this is so cool. Um let's try one more time. Are you ready to unlock your emotions and unleash your creativity onto the canvas? I don't know why it's speaking like it's kind of old fashioned English. It's time to embrace the power of painting and let the beauty of the mountain speak to your soul. This is fantastic. Okay, y'all, I'm going to ship it. It's 1051. This is a 30 minute video. I say, let's do this. Uh, here's, okay, this is the fun part. Let me show you how easy it is to now take this thing that we've just built here and deploy it so that anybody in the world can use it. Um, I'm going to go to terminal. I'm going to run ship deploy. Uh, yeah, ship deploy. That's it. Uh, we get the little shippy logos, shippy icons, shippy emojis. And then in, you know, between 10 and 30 seconds, we will get a link that we can now send all of our moms so all of our moms can experience the, uh, the painting bot that they and their friends desire. Uh, random challenge buddy is what I called it. Um, so I just clicked that link. Uh, I'm gonna, this is kind of not necessary, I guess, to the development side of things, but this is what right now it looks like to use one of these buddies. Um, I'll give you a little tour, kind of like what we're looking at here. So Steamship is a place where you can build packages. That's what you just saw me doing. And then once you deploy them, you can use these packages. Um, so uh, ours was called uh, Random Challenge Buddy. It, it was a public package that was in the steamship.json file. There's this public equals true field. So that means that anybody can create an instance. When you create an instance, you have your own copy of any fine tunings, models, vectors you're storing, data. Um, so this is slightly different than the, like, like a Docker running service in the sense of it's not, everybody's not running the same code. Every instance you create, it's one extra thing that we ask of you is to create an instance. And that gives you your own state, which, uh, is a, a small step, but then unleashes a lot of really interesting scaling stories. So I'm going to create an instance. I'm going to call it the look mom. It works bot. Uh, we're going to make this be, um, Oh, I don't know. Uh, what's that painter that did the happy trees, happy trees guy. Um, and, uh, happy trees guy is a, or this bot's personality is a nice painter who wants to help you with all of your artistic A R T I S T I C exploration. He is always encouraging and creative. Okay, so that's the base personality. Let's create a new bot, uh, just so you can see how this looks to wire up. So, uh, <clears throat> and this is the part where we'll, we'll we'll try to figure out how to make it easier, but it, honestly, it's pretty easy. So you just click on this, it's gonna give you instructions. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly what those instructions are. Uh, you go to this thing called Botfather. It's an account on Telegram. So add at Botfather, type slash new bot, we're going to call this happy trees bot happy trees ted bot it's going to give you a key um don't steal my key y'all uh and then you just paste this in that's it uh now you've got a bot you can um access this bot with an api so if you want to build like a web widget or, or something like that uh, that you can use this API to access the bot, but it's also 
automatically wired up to Telegram. And that's what's so cool about this is this init, this instance init method right here runs automatically when you create a new instance. And the Happy Trees bot is already wired up. So let's go to that. Let's start a conversation. Hi, I want to paint things. And we'll see if it's up and running on the interwebs. It's Happy Trees. Wow, that's a long response. I'm not even going to read that. Um, so uh, what types of things do you want to paint? Do you have particular medium in mind or are you open to trying new ones? Oh, I'm open to trying new ones. So we didn't add anything that like teaches you how to um, use the bot. Like the bot doesn't have instructions for using this tool. Um, that's obviously something that would be nice uh, to include um, in the future. But right here, what we're looking at is this base GPT bot. It has the personality that I asked it to have when I created a new instance of it. And now let's see if we can uh, use the things that we were just building. So, um, gosh, I don't even remember the command. It was add to list uh, medium, oil, pastel, crayon, pencil. Add to list setting, home, mountains, beach, city, space. Add to list uh, mood. Uh, happy, sad, nostalgic, nostalgic, um, numinous. I don't know what are, what are different moods. Um, and then, so if we said challenge me, it will give us mood, medium pastel, mood, happy, setting beach. Cool. And then what was the other one? It was, um, magic challenge paint. Let's blast off into a world of happiness and color. Pick up your oil paints and create a cosmic masterpiece that radiates joy and positivity. Channel your inner artist and let's transform any ordinary canvas into a mesmerizing scene that transports us to another world. It never gets old. This is so cool. Okay, that's it. Uh, there's the Happy Trees bot, Mom. Um, you and your friends, I hope the installation process on Telegram isn't too hard. I'm going to publish this to the internet. Uh, if the audio and video recorded and, um, I will probably clean it up and, and put it up on the steamship website. If you want to use this too, I think it's pretty cool. All right. Uh, there we go. Very first live coding video. Uh, hope this was interesting to you guys. Uh, if you have requests for kind of bot features that you want to add, um, the, you know, all of us at steamship have been hanging out building bots this week and next week. We have a lot of things we want to try from chains to the AGI, rigs that people have to using tools, incorporating SERP. Uh, and so I, I think once you have everything hooked up and hostable in this way with, you know, state management, vector management, LLM chaining, and really easy bot deployment, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so let us know. Um, our Discord is steamship.com slash Discord. Our website is steamship.com. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at get steamship. And uh, we would love to coach you through building some cool stuff and uh, featuring it um, when you show us what you built. Cheers.